hope you can keep the warm welcome to yourself. Where is the man who usually works here? I'm sorry mister you might have mistaken this shop with another. I have been working here for years now. Is this not Mr. Davis shop? He was the former owner but now I'm the new owner. How do I find him? Do you know where he lives? No. What happened? That bastard. He borrowed very large amounts for betting and now he hasn't returned. My boss is so pissed off. I'm sorry mister. I can't help you. Davis. What a great surprise. Yes. And how have you been Mindy? Can't complain. Look. I have a special day tonight. Would you mind arranging something for me? No, no, no. Not again, Davis. Just because your wife used to work here doesn't mean you get a special treat than others. This is business and friendship ties its downfall. Well, it's in a few. Come on. I will sort you. Just do this for me. I'll think about it. Come on, Mindy. All right. Let's see what you have. And no next time for this. Thank you, Mindy. Thanks. Hi. It's nice to meet you. You look amazing. Welcome. Please have a sit. Wow, I have never been here. It looks amazing. Lucky me I managed to take you here the first. You can't imagine the places I have in mind for our next dates. Wow, how thoughtful of you. I'm pleased. So how have you been? How are you feeling today, this moment? I've been good and getting ready for this day. I feel relieved that I have finally got chance to see you. I must say you look more handsome than on those photos. Long time since I got such a compliment. Thank you. You're welcome. I hope the food prepared is your favorite. Well, I'm curious what you had in mind. Anytime now. So tell me, what kind of man are you looking for? I'm sorry. I came right away after seeing your message. How is he doing? Why is it so hard for you to just be a good wife? I'm sorry Mark. I was with our son whole day until Clara called. She needed my help. I need you to make a decision tonight. I can't work and take care of such at same time. That's why we are here together. To help each other. I know I know. I'm so sorry. What did the doctor say? I have told you so much about myself. It's your turn now. Not much to know about me. Was born and raised at Thika. I have a younger brother almost your age. Parents both alive and status single. What do you do for a living? I'm a businessman. I own so many business in this area. The owner of this hotel is a good friend of mine. Wanna take me someday to see them? Of course. I will arrange for it. Have you ever been married? Past relationships I should know about. No. Not married. No kids. Just me. It's time I'm planning to settle down. But while chatting you said you were married and have one kid. I wanted to see if you would date me in such condition. Come on. I want to show you something. After you. I'm sorry. I told the driver to wait here but he never listens. I guess it's time to get a new one. No. Maybe he had something urgent. After all we can use my car. I don't mind. It's right over there. Really? Wanna drive my girl for the first time? How about I see what you got first? I don't mind. Let's go. What's so urgent that can't wait till morning? I shouldn't have listened to you. I'm in very big mess right now. Good things take time. You made me look stupid on that date. You told her about being married with one kid. You gave her my nickname. I also told her you are a lawyer. What? But I told her I'm a businessman. You could have told me about this before the date. She will start being suspicious. Well, I feel tired. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm not done with you. It's not over. <laughs>